that he would give us 10 days, whatever time we needed, until George Schwartz spoke up in the kangaroo court. And today he pounded his gavel in accordance with his commissioners. I call him a hypocrite and the fellow members of this commission to deny me a fair hearing. I'd, I'd like to answer that while we're here. Uh, Mr. Rosenthal is being very typical to this point. He's lying. The only time I've ever been in the Stardust Hotel was with Brian Greenspun long prior to Mike getting on the commission. And, uh, in fact, I rode in the same car with Mr. Uh, Brian Greenspun. And he had lunch with me in the Stardust Hotel and Brian Greenspun. And was that a lie, too? Well, I, we ate, Brian Greenspun and I ate in the Stardust Hotel. With what, Frank Rosenthal at the table. You were wandering around. Thank there, you. Sure. All right. But that's the that's the only time I've ever met with uh, Mr. Rosenthal, and uh, his statement relative to uh, to uh, this being a year ago is certainly untrue. And, uh, Mr. Reed, does this contradict the statement you made earlier about allowing as much time as was necessary? Yeah, I made the statement on the record. I think Mr. Goodman, on behalf of his client, should have been able to put on more evidence. But I and he voted against it. And I can just know meetings. The chairman called me a liar. I asked the chairman if he had Jay Brown call me on behalf of him to prevent the Bob List story. Ask him if I'm lying now. Respond to that. I had been given the assurance of both Mr. List and Mr. Rose also did not want the story to run. And I felt that uh, it was the best service to stay in Nevada, and I think uh, time will prove that to be the case. But he did contact Frank Rosenthal. Public officials to try to kill a news story. Pardon me? I think it's the proper place of public officials to attempt to kill a news story. No. Mr. Chairman, did you ask me, I'm asking you in a public forum here, did you ask me through Jay Brown to assist you in stopping the story that's, that's now appearing? The answer is yes. Thank you very much for not calling me a liar. <laughs> You and the you O'Callaghan gang. I don't, I don't see where you come up with that. You don't see it? No. Who do you work for? That statement was put together. Who do you work for, Roger? I work for the governor and, and the legislators. But that statement was put together by the three board members. They're all so self-righteous. You did find out, you did find out that Frank Rosenthal wasn't lying about Harry Reid asking me for a special favor. The chairman had the nerve to call me a liar. But he didn't deny that one, did he? We'll turn no more cheeks to him or Claire Haycock or anybody else. Commissioner Haycock, do you have any comment in front of the public? You're usually very vociferous when I don't have a chance to respond to you. I'm here now in front of the press and the public. I would love to respond to you because you're very articulate. Give me the picture. picture. We'll see what kind of catch you got. You're not playing solid play with me. No, you're not. Take a good look at it. We'll just stand up to the abuse of the state and the power structure. As long as we can stand. To be kidding. Adjourn. What do you mean adjourn? Mr. Chairman, please. Mr. Chairman, Senator, you promised me a hearing. You won't allow me a hearing? You didn't even look at the FBI reports. When you were my guest, Mr. Chairman, Senator, at the Tangiers Hotel, did you not promise me that I would I have a fair hearing? I was never your guest at the You were Tangiers. never my guest? That's I never right. comped you? I don't comp you at least two or three times a month at the Tangiers? I'd like to answer that at this time. Mr. Rothstein has been very typical to this point. He's lying. The only time I was at the Tangiers was when I had dinner with Barney Greenstein. Was I at that dinner? You Just tell me the was, was I at the dinner? Was I at that dinner? You were wandering Was around. I at that dinner? You were in the you were in the building. I was in the building, so you know damn well I was at that dinner, and you swore to me that I would have a fair hearing at that dinner. Did you not? Did you not? Well, tell me I was at least at the dinner. Uh, allow me that much. Give me that much at least. Yes, you were. Yeah, thanks for not calling me a liar, son of a bitch.
Yes, Good evening, everyone. I'm Paige Novador. What should have been a routine licensing hearing turned into bedlam yesterday when the flamboyant Tangiers Casino executive, Sam Ace Rothstein, for, accused Bob? the state's top gaming for? officials of corruption and hypocrisy. Hey, when you were getting caught at my hotel and you were asking me for copies of your bills so you could put them on your expense account? In a wild and unprecedented outburst that followed his gaming license denial, oh, Rothstein followed oh, several shit. stunned commissioners into the hallway where he continued his harangue until his own lawyers and friends urged him to leave. You have a pass, I have a pass, and my pass is no worse than yours. But